Hey everybody, it's Jay the Haitian Mogul here with another video. I think it's day four of my 30 days. Um, I've been doing a lot of shit. It's only Tuesday, but I already feel like I went through the whole week already. But either way, it's a great day. It's going to be a great week. It still is, you know, no matter what's going on because everything that happens, everything that happens while we're here on this earth is happening for us. So that's how I look at it. And I'm just trying to take everything so hard. So if something happens that's at that time not in my approval, I just look at it as the universe is trying to tell me something. The universe is trying to prepare me for something. So I do that. Um, got my old work shirt on because, you know, I don't work at Brands no more. But that's it's just because I just need clothes, um, washing clothes today or whatever. But anyway, this video is actually going to be about our health. Um... I believe I heard a saying, I can't, really can't even pinpoint the, the, the type of way that it was phrased, um, but basically your health is your wealth, um, and practically just saying that you need to take care of yourself, and the reason why I said that is because I actually just had a dentist appointment myself, um, I've been doing a lot of different things that I've noticed in the last year that I haven't done for me in a long time. So I'm finally doing those things, taking care of me, and making sure that I am up to date on everything that I need to be doing. So that way I can be the best person in all aspects. Not just spiritually, not just mentally, but also physically. So making sure that whatever I need to take care of for me is taken care of. So that way I can still continue to be the best part of myself. And that is important for everybody. Um, you definitely need to make sure that you are always taking care of you. And it's not, of course, the part of possibly being selfish in the eyes of others, where at the end of the day, I don't care. Because I feel like if I'm making sure that I'm good, I can take care of everybody else. Because if I'm not 100, I can't help anybody else in, in whatever condition. So I need to make sure that I'm always good at all times. And it's very, very, very important. And um, it's just sometimes we take it for granted as far as like what, what we can do for ourselves and how we treat our bodies. And this is why, I, for me, it's very important as well as to what I put in my body. If I don't eat red meat anymore, I don't touch alcohol, I don't smoke weed. And these are all the things that I used to do and just felt like they were okay. But then when I stopped doing them, I really noticed a huge difference in doing that. So now I'm just really, really particular about what I put inside of me. And of course, that also can show in your skin. It could also show in how you behave and how you interact with others. So, you have to think about those types of things. Like, little things can really affect your whole overall being. So, I am very aware of what I, I do for me and body-wise. And make sure I work out as often as I'm supposed to. And I don't look at it as a chore. Like, anything that I do for me when it comes to making myself a better person is never a chore. I make it a part of who I am. I'm part of my daily routine. So, that way... I can, it can be not necessarily a pattern or a routine per se, but more so just a part of me. And that way it makes it easier to continue doing it and to amp it up when I get too accustomed to whatever I'm actually doing. So I don't know how you guys see that, you know, but I would like for you to see it in almost the same way that I see it or in your own version. So that way you can get a better idea of, hey, I care about me enough to do this. I care about me enough to not speak to this person anymore. I care about me enough to not be around that type of energy anymore. I care about me enough to take care of me. And that's what it comes down to, is taking care of yourself at all times. And I've definitely been had my eyes open when it comes to this experience and being more self-aware to where I am currently, where I want to be, and the steps that I need to take to get to that. So, like I said, I feel like I've been doing, already went through the week, <laughs> but it's good because at the end of the day, I'm getting information about me and making sure that I am up to, up to par at all times. So now, just about taking those steps to make it happen. So make it happen for you. You know, are you are you regular with your doctor's appointments? You know what I mean. Are you making sure that you always checking up what you need to? Because you know, especially as us as a as a uh, ethnicity being black. You, we don't necessarily like to go to the doctor. If something's wrong, we think about it or it might not, it's not going to be nothing. Or I don't want to really hear the bad news type shit. We have to get out of that mind frame. Go see the damn doctor. That's what they're there for. Now, you don't have to go take the, I don't believe in really prescription medicine. Because 
there's so many herbs out there now that can do everything that a prescription can actually do and better and without the side effects. So definitely look into that too. Like it's something that you really want to do and take care of yourself. Look into the herbal ways of doing that so that way you don't have to worry about anything else that could, that could um, hinder your progress and avoid, you could possibly avoid any other situations in the future. So let me know what you guys think about that. And if you have any opinions for me, of course, you can share them at the bottom of the video. Um, of course, I'm going to be uploading this on YouTube, too. Um, I need to start sharing my YouTube channel with y'all so y'all can get familiar. Uh, while I was in the doctor's office, actually, one of the ladies that was working with me, she, um, we got to talking about Law of Attraction. So she introduced me to somebody that I haven't really been listening to, which is Wayne Dyer. So I'm listening to him. And I also introduced her to who I have actually have grown to love and appreciate when learning about Law of Attraction. So, um... The universe works in crazy ways. But anyway, I will come back and talk, talk about that in another video. Just want y'all to hear that and my aspect, and I will catch y'all in the next video, alright? Y'all have a great one.